When it comes to coloration of your plot, you have a huge variety of different colors at hand from which you can choose for your plot. If you would for example type in colors and then empty brackets, you would get an overview of all the colors you can choose from. So there are nearly 1000 colors and for example there are about 100 ways in how you can specify the color gray. So this is really a huge variety in coloration. Please note that when it comes to colors, you basically have three options in how you can specify the color. The first one would be to type in the color code. Another way would be to actually just state the name of the color. So for example, gray 65 under quotation signs, of course. And the third way, which is rarely used, is you can also specify the alphanumeric code for that specific color you want to use. Let's take a look at the point symbols. Let's see the help section for the point symbols. As you can see down here, you can choose from numbers 0 to actually 25. So those are the preset point symbols. So for example, if you would type in PCH equals let's say 16, you would get this kind of full circle. Let's take a look at an example. At first I'm creating the object X and if I'm running this plot, you can see that the point symbol in this case is the letter C. You can actually use all the symbols on your keyboard as long as you specify them within quotation signs as I did over here. So in this case, the letter C is a perfectly fine symbol on my plot. The other way would be I could just specify a number between 0 and 25 and in this case the computer would use the according symbol. So for example point type number 13 would be this symbol down here. So this was some information about the coloration and about the point types and now I'm gonna show you the line types which you can use for your line plots in R. Basically you can choose between the line types or LTY between 0 and 6. But please note that line type 0 would be a white or non-existing line. In this plot I now want to show you line types between 1 and 6. As you can see on this plot you have on the x-axis the line type number and over here you can see the different types. So you can choose between full lines or even dotted lines or intermittent lines. In this case I was also specifying the line width with the argument LWT equals 2 and this made the lines within this exemplifying plot a bit thicker. The next thing I want to show you are the different types of plots you can choose from by using the plot command. So by specifying a different type, the plot would appear in a different fashion. So let's take a look at the default plot for the links dataset. So as I already told you, the links dataset is a time series dataset. And in this case, the plot would appear like this. If I would now specify type equals P, it would now change to a point or scatter plot as you can see in this example. And type equals L would in this case be a line plot. Then I have type equals B. This is basically a mixture between points and lines. The same thing would apply for type equals O, but in this case the lines would not have any breakpoints. Then we have type equals H. This is for high density plots. We also have a step plot. For example, if you want to plot some kind of survival analysis data. And at last we have type equals N. And this would actually delete the plot. So those were the different types of plots you can incorporate into your plot function. 
And now I want to show you an example of how you can actually use all those arguments and functions within R to make some quite complex plots like this one over here. So this is an example of the graphs in R course where we are using many of the graphical parameters of R base to produce this kind of complex plots. And this brings us to the next topic, the topic of graphical parameters. When you are producing a simple plot in R, the computer is using the default parameters. You can take a look at the default parameters at running par and then empty brackets. And then actually all those parameters appear with the coding setting in your computer. So for example, over here, we would see what the default setting for the axis is, or for example, what the fonts for labs or axis are in the default values. You can type in question mark par to get to the help section of the graphical parameters. In this help section, you would then see all the graphical parameters you have available to actually manipulate your plot. So for example, BG would be for the background coloration of BTY for the box type. If you actually want to learn more about all those graphical parameters, I highly recommend the graphs in our course because the first section solely deals with all those graphical parameters and explains you step by step what those parameters are meaning. All right, I hope that you now got an idea of how powerful R can be to produce graphs. In the next videos, I will show you how you can export your graphs and there will also be an exercise to use your new knowledge about R graphs.